How soon do your relationships change after you've had bariatric surgery, whether that be lap band, um, sleeve, gastric bypass. I know there's a few others. Sips. I know there's one more maybe or two. How soon? And let me tell you, this isn't my first rodeo. I've said it before. This is, I had revision from band to sleeve. And the first time around, I think things changed as soon as my body started to change. As soon, because with lap band, you don't drop weight super fast. It's a really slow and gradual weight loss. And for me, it was really slow. And that's because I've always been a slow loser, you know? And so it was really slow. It took a while before changes started to be noticed. And, you know, when changes started to be noticed, people started to change. And it's really, um, it can be really upsetting when the people that you think love you the most, and it could be family, you know, are the ones that are like hating on your progress. They're jealous or they're upset or they're, they don't hate you exactly, but they're, they're hating the whole situation that you're changing and they're not, you know? So this time around, ow, I've noticed the change. And how soon can it happen? I think it can happen as soon as you announce or say that you are having bariatric surgery. Okay? It can happen as soon as that. And it's really upsetting because you feel like you would think that you would get support. And a lot of times you do get support in other areas from other people that will surprise you. You didn't think you were going to get support from. Or they just kind of come out of the woodwork and offer their support. Whereas people that are really close to you, like family or even some friends, will kind of like stay in the background. You won't really hear from them as much. And you're just kind of like, okay, what's that about? Okay, what is that about? And it kind of hurts your feelings. But you know what? At the end of the day, you're doing this for yourself. Like I'm doing this for me. Because I had to. I felt that the lap band, that whole part of the journey was over for me. And it was because I had a lot of complications. Did the lap band not work? No, it did work. And it worked for a long time. But, you know, things happen. And so you have to know when to cut your losses and move on and do what you have to do for yourself. And I had to do what I had to do for me. So... You know, I find it really interesting that through the whole process, it took me like eight or nine months to get, you know, approved and, and to get all that squared away. And through that time, everybody was kind of normal and fine. I mean, anybody who knew about it. And I've been pretty open, you know, hello, it's on the internet. So I've been pretty open about the journey to most people who ask me, you know, I'm not like hiding it or anything like that. But as soon as the surgery happened, which was like less, just a little less than a week ago, there's people I haven't even heard from. People who I should have heard from. People who really should have come and seen me, to be honest. And maybe I'm being a little crybaby about it, but I know what I would have done if somebody in my family or a really close friend of mine was having something done like that. I would have been there. I would have been at the hospital. I would, maybe not during the surgery part, but like as soon as they were in recovery or the next day, if I knew they were going to be there for a day, I would have been there, you know, to visit them when they got home, called them, texted them afterwards, been like, hey, everything good? But you know what? You learn real fast, real fast how people, what people truly are and who they are. And you know, sometimes you already know who they are, you know? It's not like it's like super surprising, but like, it's always like that little notch that you're like, you know, I really wish it would have been different. I really wish you would have been there for me because if 
if it was the other way around, I would have been there for you. So for me, it happened pretty darn fast. It's not even been a week. And there's people that I haven't heard from or seen. And um, that's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but I'll live. Again, I have to constantly remind myself, this is for me. I did this for me. And I did this because I want to be healthy. And if people don't want to be on the ride with me because they're upset for their, that's their own, you know, problem, then that's your own problem. You know what I'm saying? I am here for me, for my health, to make myself feel better, healthier, happier, and just to do what I need to do for myself. And that's it. So just know that if you feel like people that you've already spoken to about this process have um, somehow fallen by the wayside, not called you, you don't hear from them at all, or they're just distant for whatever reason, it's really not about you, it's about them. They have the problem. And you don't have to apologize to them for their problem. That is their problem and they will have to get over it. So that awful reality can come way at the beginning of the process. It can come right when you have surgery. It can come right when they see you when you've lost a ton of weight. It just uh, it can come at any moment, but it can come pretty fast. So be warned. It's possible for it to happen right away. So I hope... Anyone who is watching this video is having a good day on some level and can kind of benefit from what I'm saying here. Um, I don't mean to be a downer or anything like that, but that's what I'm facing. So I wanted to share the things that I'm going through so that when you go through it or if you know anyone who is going through this, you can kind of understand maybe you're on the other side. Maybe you're on the side that's being distant and you can understand what the person who's gone through bariatric surgery is going through so yeah offer your support be there for them because it's not about you it's about them the person who's had the surgery so have a good day if you like the channel please subscribe give it a thumbs up comment i always love to see comments and interact with um anyone who's watching so thanks bye